Casa Amor. Oh my god. Casa Amor. Do you know what? I didn't think they were going to give us tonight, like, a uh, look at Casa Amor and much less the, the contestants. First off, without sounding mean or shallow, but I'm going to sound mean and shallow, the lineup is just not given much. Um, normally, the idea to tempt islanders is to bring in the finest specimens that are willing to come on love island and bring them in both um villas and i just don't know how we expecting heads to turn when this is the product they are giving us i'm just not so sure not sure at all maybe i need to really see them maybe i need to see them live in action do you know what i mean and day in day out you know to 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 see the true beauty of these people but yeah i don't know i'm not not so sure about this lineup i'm not sure how it's going to for example like i do want Gemma's head to turn because it'd just be funny none of those guys are like they would turn Gemma's head nor tasha's nor Paige, nor in in fact like do you know what i mean and Danique is free to crackle anyway. So yeah, nah, don't know about that one. I don't know. And the girls, I don't see any of them turning Lucas' head either or Andrew's. But anyways, we'll never know. Like, these lot might just want anything at this point. But yeah, obviously, let's talk about the elimination. So yeah, obviously, Charlie went. Now that made sense. That added up. I'm... I'm in two minds. I do think Antigone deserved longer. She was a great girl. Like, she got everyone. Obviously, people seemed really pressed that she was going. So, she obviously left an impact within one week. And it was sad for her to go. But in the context of what you're coming to do, who has given their all, taken risks, been rejected time after time and bounced back and bounced back and bounced back? Danica. So yeah, she deserved that spot. And I think it really touched her to see that the boys saw and appreciated that she was trying in there. And the girl's attitude stunk. It was disgusting. Paige's attitude was disgusting. Her reaction was disgusting. Cool, nobody wants to go. But to react like that, like as if Danica should have been gone just because you weren't as close to her, like it's disgusting. Her behaviour recently has been dis disappointing and disgusting. So she really needs to fix that um, if she wants to stay on my good list because right now she's dwindling a bit towards the not like list. I don't want to go there because I always rooted for her from day one. But yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so Danica does... Like, I'm happy she's going to find someone. I'm sure she'll find someone in Casa Amor. Um, and it is a shame, obviously, that to go. But like it, the boys did a fair choice and I'm actually proud of them. Tash is obviously really pressed because it matters to her. People's opinions matter to her. How she's seen matters to her. She thought, you know, if I put Andrew first, everything, the public, and stop like turning my head, the public will like us and we won't be in the bottom anymore. And the opposite has happened. She's still at the bottom and now she's worried and she's paranoid and she's thinking, oh, what is my next move to get liked? But you're just not that likable, Tasha. That's just the problem. Um, Ekazu David, they're adorable. That, oh, they're so cute. He is all of a sudden making her drinks, giving her kisses, holding her in the pool. Like, who is this Davide we have never seen? And is there some part of me that thinks he's motivated also by seeing that they were no longer in the bottom, um, which means the public like them? So now he's more encouraged to continue with Ekazu as everyone thinks that's the right choice. So maybe that will help him drop his pride. I think it's all playing a part, helping him move on from the past because they're really cute. But I don't think they're gonna last you guys some more um, because I don't think David Day will. And I can sue will never let us know her next move. So we just don't know. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. I'm excited. Sunday, Casa more begins. Um, let me know what you thought of tonight's episode and the new lineup for Casa Moore. Um, and like always, thank you for tuning in to Trembuzz's Love Island Reviews.